As we wait for Robert Mueller's report to drop and with House Democrats launching investigations into the administration, many are wondering if there will be a smoking gun that proves President Donald Trump deserves to be impeached. Trying to find a smoking gun in a federal investigation is not new. In every investigation since Richard Nixon's Watergate scandal, politicians have assumed that it was necessary to discover a concrete piece of evidence that can prove with total certainty that a president committed high crimes and misdemeanors. With Ronald Reagan's Iran-Contra scandal, a smoking gun was never found. With President Bill Clinton, it was Monica Lewinsky's blue dress. But the expectation of finding one piece of conclusive evidence is misplaced and too often obscures the big picture. Not every investigation will be like Watergate, where just as the House Judiciary Committee voted in late July 1974 on articles of impeachment, the Supreme Court voted unanimously that President Nixon could not invoke executive privilege to block the release of White House recordings. One of these tapes was from June 23, 1972, six days after the break-in of the Democratic National Headquarters at the Watergate complex in which President Nixon could be heard saying that he wanted the CIA to stop the FBI investigation. There it was, obstruction of justice. The tape was the last straw. Former National Security Advisor and Secretary of State Henry Kissinger recalled in Time magazine. It provided the pretext for waivers to commit themselves to impeachment and for others to abandon Nixon. By now there had been too many shocks, everybody wanted to get it over with. On August 5, 1974, the public heard the tapes. Two days later, upon seeing the full transcript, New York Republican Representative Barbara Conable said it looked like a smoking gun. Republican sense. Barry Goldwater and Hugh Scott met with the president to tell him he was finished. On August 8, Nixon announced his resignation. Ever since that epic moment in American history, the smoking gun has achieved a mythological status in presidential scandals. The problem is that the story exaggerates the role of this kind of evidence 